Doctor ng Sir Chris. Mabs, can you hear me, Mabs? Yes, Ma'am Rose, I can hear you po. Okay, so three minutes or five, four minutes, can we start? Yes, Ma'am. Yes, po. Thank you very much, Rose. Good afternoon, Sir Chris. Wala kang sound. <clears throat> Are you muted? Uh, we now. Yeah. Yes, sir, sir. Thank you very much. Okay, it's good we are able to test this before it starts. Hey, Max. May static. Yes, um... Good morning, everyone. Good afternoon. This is this is Roland speaking from Germany. Good morning. Hi, Roland. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, Professor Winkler. Good to see you. Good morning. <laughs> Probably good morning. Too. Good morning. Good, good afternoon from the Philippines. Hi, Roland. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, Chris, I'm sorry you. about uh, your loss, right? I'm very, very, very uh, sad to hear about that. You know, I wrote you already my, my feelings. Yeah. Once more, I'm sorry to hear that. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you for joining this tribute. Yes, it's my pleasure. Blessed day to all and uh, Sir Chris. Good afternoon, Pa. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, Chancellor. Good afternoon. Good afternoon to all of you. Hi, good afternoon, Chancellor. You met once in the uh, Philippines, you may remember me. I think, yes, yes, I do. Good morning. Good afternoon, good afternoon. yes. Good afternoon once again to everyone. I hope you can hear me loud and clear. Um, Mam Rose, we will start the recording of the session. Recording in progress. Um, yeah, thank you so much for being here. Um, a pleasant afternoon to everyone. Uh, we are gathered this afternoon to celebrate and honor the life of a woman who is very dear to all of us present here, uh, Dr. Maria Victoria Carpio Bernido, or we fondly call Mama Rivik, uh, to most of us. So physics has been a very huge part, uh, you, we know that, in the life of Mama Rivik, and that's why having this tribute uh, shared to the rest of the SPVM community as well, and the physics enthusiast here is just fitting. Um, I first I would like to acknowledge the presence, of course, of the Chancellor of MSU IIT, Dr. Sokar Natangol, and also the other institute officials who are present here. Uh, we also have some guests of us joining uh, joining us who will be introduced later uh, to share a bit of some of their experiences with uh, Ma Marivik. Most especially, this tribute, of course, will not be complete without the presence of uh, Sir Chris. Sir, thank you so much. And the rest of the family and friends of Sir Chris and Mama Rivik. So again, a pleasant afternoon to everyone. We will be starting this uh, tribute with an opening prayer to be led by uh, Dr. Mark Nolan Confessor. Sir Mark. 
Good afternoon, everyone. Sir Chris, good afternoon. Um, brothers and sisters, we are gathered here, um, though virtually, to celebrate the life of uh, Mom uh, Marie Vic and such a beautiful life that she has lived and such a powerful life that she has lived and has touched all of us, uh, I mean, going to the distance. And so we offer in prayers, Mama Marie Vic, and also Sir Chris and the entire family in this time of mourning, and also for the blessing that they need to persevere afterwards. Let us come before the Lord. Almighty and gracious Father, we thank you for allowing us to be gathered here this afternoon. Although, Lord, for a very sad reason, because we have lost a very dear friend to us, a mother to many of us. We thank you for the blessing of life, the grace of life that you have given to Mama Marie Vic, and for allowing us to see how life can be so good if it's lived for others. Lord, we would like to offer Mama Marie Vic into your hands. We know that you will take care of her as she has done so many times to us here on earth. And as we pray and offer her back to you, we also would like to ask for the strength and the blessing of life for Sir Chris and the entire family as they go through this time of mourning. We pray, Lord, that you allow them to find comfort, find reason, meaning, though difficult it may seem, of what has happened. We also would like to pray that the life of Mama Marie Vic will continue to live on by the many students that they have, by the commitments that they will gonna make, just like what they have done with Sir Chris. And so we offer this tribute this afternoon in your presence. Amen. We, I, may I now call in uh, Professor Rosario Reserva Mamros, uh, like an introduction to some of the people who will be sharing uh, something about the, how uh, they meet Ma'am Maribi. Okay, so thank you, Mams. Uh, uh, good afternoon, everyone. As we are gathered together in honor to the late Ma'am Maribi Bernido, let me introduce to you this, uh, our guest uh, this afternoon in the Zoom. First, I would like to acknowledge our Chancellor, Chancellor Socardo Tangol of Yamisha IT. Also, we have Vice Chancellor of Research and Extension, uh, Dr. Bornales. We also have the longtime partners of uh, Sir Chris uh, and Mama Rebic. We have uh, Professor Ludwig Streit, Sir Streit. Okay. And then we have also, uh, of course, we have Sir Chris. He's joined with his sister, Mom uh, Corazon Bernido, and the family. Uh, we have Professor Roland Winkler of uh, Germany. And then uh, we have uh, Professor Shikano Yutaka of uh, Japan. We also have uh, uh, collaborators of Sir Chris. We have Professor Jose Selva, uh, also th I think from, from Germany. Uh, I'm not so sure. And we have uh, Professor Perez Guerra of UP uh, NIP, uh, members of the faculty of the Fist Department of MSU IT, also members of the CBM from Luzon to uh, Mindanao. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. And uh, uh, we also have here NRCP President, Dr. Gregorio Del Pilar. Sir, good afternoon. And uh, Ma'am Nieves Confessor, Ma'am, thank you also for joining with us this afternoon. And for the rest of who are here in the Zoom, uh, CBM, as well as the Fist Department of MSHA IT, we would like to thank you for, uh, for joining this afternoon in this tribute to Ma'am Marie. So that's all, Mabs. Thank you, Ma'am Rose. And we are 
we are really happy uh, for everyone who are present here as well. So we will be starting uh, our tribute to, to the life of Mama Rivik uh, with some uh, messages from uh, the people that was introduced by uh, Dr. Reserva. So we will start with our Chancellor of MSUIIT, Dr. Soharno Ditanggol. Sir, good afternoon. Thank you. Thank you very much. I am deeply honored for this uh, rare uh, privilege of giving tribute to an, an arguably incredible woman to, uh, if you will allow me to quote from your program. We share the grief of Sir Chris and family for the surprise departure of Mom Marivik. She was a woman of science, Magsaysay awardee in fact. From what I have seen, stories I have read, uh, I, I have heard from Jinky and the rest, her life must have indeed been a work of art, Sir Chris. The memorable two visits I had there, indeed I will never forget. The encounters here in IIT with the both of you, our lunches, manifest your questionable humility, Sir Chris, you and mom. Despite your professional achievements in life, in behalf, on behalf of MSU IIT, therefore, I thank you, Mom Marivik, fare thee well. Thank you so much, Chancellor Tangol, for those uh, warm messages for uh, Sir Chris and the whole family as well. Um, Ma'am Rose, may I also re request, Ma'am, for the slide? Uh, for uh, the next uh, person who would love to share his thoughts on, yeah, wait for Ed. Uh, we have Professor Ludwig Streit, but Sir Streit would prefer that we read the his message uh, for uh, this for the tribute this afternoon. So I will read it, sir, straight on your behalf, sir. Um, dear colleagues and friends, when you look at the map from the northern tip of Japan all the way down to, sorry, tropical Singapore, you observe a pearl string of thriving societies whose wealth and welfare is based not on abundance of raw materials, but on up-to-date knowledge and technical competence. In other less fortunate nations, you find a grave lack in national welfare correlated with severe deficiencies of the educational system. It is a free for all to bemoan this or an academic, sorry, academic level to theorize about costs and effect in this vicious circle, much harder to actually break the circle. It takes not only competence, but devotion and total commitment. Victoria has shown us that it can be done. And even more, she has shown us that being tough does not mean to be hard. It can be wed to great serenity and kindness. Please strive to follow her lead in the service to your beautiful yet often unfortunate country. I assure you that you cannot make her happier as she looks down from where she is now. Thank you so much, Professor Stride. Um, Sir Chris, Professor Stride is here with us in Zoom right now. Yes, sir. Um, uh, we will be hearing some more uh, messages. Uh, let's, but we will have some songs played first, Mam Rose. I am sure some um, string, strings of our, our hearts were tugged uh, listen, listening to that song. Uh, before we go to our next uh, guest who will share some thoughts for ma'am, uh, Marivik, uh, let me share to you just this quote from Maya Angelou. Uh, I've learned that people will forget what you said. Uh, people will forget what you did, but people will never forget how you made them feel. 
uh, I'm pretty sure that it, it will be hard to forget what uh, Mama Rivik did, uh, especially for uh, here, uh, majority are on the physics community. But I'm pretty sure also that everyone will never forget how Mama Rivik made them feel in some of uh, the encounters that you have with her. So um, this afternoon, we won't have time to cater everyone uh, to share. I'm sure everyone would like to share their thoughts. So if you can, if you have a great memory that you have with Mama Rivik, you can type it in in the chat so that we can also read through how um, Mama Rivik was able to touch your lives in some of the instances that you have met her. Uh, now we will go to our uh, next guest who will share to us this afternoon. May I call in uh, Ma'am Jinky? Ma'am Jinky Bernalas, Ma'am Jing. Okay. Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon, Sir Chris, Ma'am Cora, and, and the rest of, of every of the guests who are here in the Zoom room. Um, passion and courage are contagious. And I have been infected with it since day one I met Mama Rivik. I'm afraid there is no cure for it and I am happy. I first met Mamari Bik when I did my MS physics in UP Diliman. I was part of the MAPS group. MAPS means Mathematical Application of Path Summation, together with uh, Dr. Christine Villa Gonzalo, who is also in the Zoom room, the group which Mamari Bik and Sir Chris have established. The conversations, the engagements, the collaborations, the partnerships that followed have greatly impacted my life. Mama Rivik has played a big part both in my professional and personal growth. To serve with purpose has always been the core in almost all the conversations I have had with Mama Rivik. She doesn't explicitly say it, but you can always feel and sense the degree of, of intensity and sincerity of her passion her courage and deep commit, commitment to serve the country. In all the years I have known Mama Rivik, I can describe her as follows, simple. She has a very simple lifestyle, simple and yet full of substance. A lifestyle I so admire. Perfectionist and yet flexible. She always has an eye on every detail, like when we organize the 2018 Hagna International Workshop. She's an innovator. The learning physics as one nation would not have been hatched without her thinking outside the box mindset. She's courageous. Her courage to embark on things, even when resources are so scarce, is for me priceless. And it is how the dynamic learning program started. She's excellent. Mama Rivik is just simply excellent in many ways. In other words, Mama Rivik is a spice, short for simple, perfectionist, yet flexible, innovator, courageous, excellent. To all of us who know her, who knows her, and who loved her. And she will always be an inspiration to the many of us. So thank you so much, Ma Marvik, for being an inspiration to all of us. Thank you. Thank you so much, Ma'am Jinky, um, for that uh, messages. Um, may I also call in now? We have Professor Shikano Yutaka, sir. Uh, may you also share some thoughts and words. Professor Yutaka. Uh, yeah, I, uh, sorry, um, I, I'm not seeing Professor Yutaka here in the Zoom, I, but I saw him earlier. Um, yeah, so we have here, um, 
sir, if you can give us some messages, uh, may I call in the president of NRCP also to share, uh, Prof Professor uh, Sir Gregorio Del Pilar, sir. Maganda nga po sa lahat. Narito po. Excuse me. Narito po kami kasama ang mga kasama ko po ang mga ilang kasapi ng aming college organization ay yung Youth for Social Action Council, yung isa kung saan Si Chris ay naging isang uh, mahalagang at masayang bahagi ng aming grupo. Ang totoo po, uh, hindi ko masyadong kilala si Marie Vic. Si Chris po ang aming kakilala uh, at uh, malaki po ang aming panghihinayang na napakaaga tayong uh, na maalam ni, ni Marie Vic. Dahil sa pagkakakilala namin kay Chris ay uh, uh, alam namin na uh, ang kalidad ni ni Juan no bilang tao ni Marie Chris ay tulad ng naririnig natin ngayon at tulad ng alam ninyong lahat no ay uh, napakataas no um, ang ang akin pong sigurong pinakamatagal na interaction kay Marie Vic bilang tagapakinig ang katunayan ano noong inanyayahan namin sila ni Chris na magsalita sa kwa sa um, pagtatapos ng kwa ano ng College of Social Sciences and Philosophy at uh, nagsalita silang pareho at napakalaki ng aking paghanga sa pananalita ni Maribik ni Chris din ano pero yung pananalita ni Maribik ay napakatayog ng kwan ano ng mga sinabi ni Marie mahirap mag magsalita ng gano'n ano na napakatayog ng sinasabi mo na tuloy-tuloy hanggang dulo mula simula hanggang dulo at ito po ang aming uh, consolation no na bagamat masyado pong maikli ang buhay ni Marie ay tulad nga ng nasabi niyo napakarami niyang na-inspire at dati ako po na yung mga nakinig sa kanya nung CSSP graduation ayon ay tulad ko no uh, nabuhayan ng inspirasyon para sa mga matatayog na simulain na ipinahayag ni Maribik. Kami po sa NRCP uh, kasama ko rin po ang ilan sa mga uh, si Dr. Villa Gonzalo, si Dr. Arnel Salvador, si Dr. Perry Esguera, mga taga NRCP po ay uh, nagpahayag din po ng aming pakikiramay at panghihinayang kay Maribig at ang aming uh, pagbati uh, ng suporta para kay sa minamahal namin si Chris. Salamat po. Thank you so much, sir. And I apologize for putting you on spotlight uh, without asking your permission first. Wala po, um, na. Okay. Okay um, uh, right now, we will be uh, seeing a video uh, compilation of some of the um, interactions of Mama Rivik uh, with uh, the SPBM community. So, Mam Rose, can I ask if you would like to share the video, please? Thank you, Pop.
Thank you so much for that, Ma'am Rose. And um, we will now move on to uh, some of the people who would like to share their thoughts about Namarivik. May I call in um, Professor Henry Aringa, sir? Good afternoon, po, sir. Good afternoon. Uh, Uh, and good afternoon, everyone. I was deeply saddened to learn the death of Mama Rivik. And on behalf of the physics department of Inisio Marawi, we send our sincere sympathy to Sir Chris and family. I, in particular, was mom by the news of the loss of Mama Rivik, a great teacher and a caring mother to all. I had the privilege of enjoying the friendship and care of Mama Rivik and Sir Chris. This was a profound experience for me. And I know that a lot of men and women everywhere have lost a devoted and inspired inspirational leader, a teacher, and as I said, as a mother. In around 27, Mama Rivik, along with Sir Chris, was our mentor there at Inisio IIT. I cannot forget how she tried to deliver so difficult topics in a motherly mother manner making it easy for us to understand. And when Sir Chris accepted me to become my dissertation advisor, I cannot forget the warm hospitality of this couple every time I went to their place there in Hagna, Bohol for classes and discussion with Sir Chris. <clears throat> In many cases, while I and Sir Chris are on the middle of our discussions, Mama Rebecca will gently remind us that the snacks are ready. And then later on, she will say, your lunch are ready now. Baka manlamig na ang mga ito. At di magtagal, Ah, bandang hapon naman, ready na ang inyong snacks. Such a motherly care, I shall treasure forever. <clears throat> I feel lucky because I was one of her student and I, I got to know her personally. It was such a bless. Her mentorship and guidance made me a better person. I am going to reminiscence this forever. Again, my deepest sympathies to Sir Chris and family for this great loss. Thank you. Thank you so much, Sir Henry, for that uh, very warm message. I would fondly remember, Ma'am, Ma'am Marivik will always say to me uh, during SPVM conferences to Mavel, stop treating us like guests. We are co-organizers with you here. She will always say that to me when like we will assist her or something like that. So I think, yeah, uh, most of us here have fun memories also with Mama Rivi. Please keep sharing them in the chat and we will compile them and also we'll give them to uh, Sir Chris and uh, his family also. Um, yeah, uh, we will now uh, have another person that will be surprised. Some people here are just surprised that they will be giving message, but may I call in Professor Christine Velia Gonzalo of NIP, National Institute of Physics, UP Diliman, to share some thoughts and messages. Uh, Professor? Uh, 
Uh, good good afternoon. Um, Sima Marivic was my and together with Sir Chris was my uh, MS thesis advisor. Uh, so we were members of the MAPS group. So sa MAPS, we would go to their house in uh, Hardin ng Bougainvillea every Wednesday. So I still remember that it was every Wednesday. Uh, and then uh, we would have their, we would discuss our uh, research reports uh, for the week and uh, we would be sharing it over cookies and coffee. So it will be a very relaxing and uh, nurturing environment. So when, 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 I, when I did my uh, physics studies, I wasn't really, I did not really know the concept of what a researcher would be. Uh, I just love science. That's why I was in physics. Um, and I did not like to do medical school, so uh, I ended up in physics. Uh, but I had no idea really what a life of a scientist is like. Um, so when I met, uh, and I did my undergraduate in um, experimental physics, but it was not really to my liking. So uh, when I met Mama Rivik, she was my teacher in electromagnetism. Uh, so that's when I really learned na, ah, ganito pala ang, ano, uh, ganito pala ang isang physicist. Um, so that's why uh, I really remember her that she was very kind uh, because she would even do makeup classes for us so that we can understand uh, the, uh, she can spend more time with us in deriving the Maxwell's equations, especially when you uh, go to the dielectric uh, materials because you need to be careful about the boundary conditions. So I, I really remember that. And um, during the time that I was doing my MS, uh, she was really very uh, strict, not just on the deriving of the equations, but also the manuscript. So I would be revising it several times because even that every sentence with the equations, it should have a period. So, uh, so Sir Chris would re uh, already correct my manuscript. And then when mom reads it, I still have to do more corrections. Um, uh, so it would really take a long time before you get the complete final manuscript. Uh, so I, I re really remember her to be very, uh, very perfectionist, not just in the equations, but also in the grammar, uh, because she said that you have to communicate your research well. Um, and I did my, my MS, I wrote my uh, manuscript while I was at Hagna. Um, I spent Siguru one summer there, uh, and then we would go to, uh, I joined them wherever the family went. So when they go to a uh, friend's house for a fiesta, I would go with them <laughs> and eat the uh, lunch or the fiesta food with them. So, um, so that's what I remember. They, they were like my uh, second parents, second set of parents, but parents in the physics career. And when I said that I would like to do my uh, studies abroad, they really supported me. And then even when I came back, um, when I need a speaker, uh, they would always be around uh, for, for the SPP when I was Secretary General. They were very helpful. Um, so it's really a big loss right now because I was not able to visit them. When I heard about the surgery in 2020, I told Dr. Iskera that we should visit, but then the, uh, then the pandemic happened. We were not able to go anymore. And I did not think at that time that it was serious. So I was not able 
to visit her at that time that she was uh, in a difficult situation. But I am really glad that I met her and then her pain is now over. And I hope that many of us, her students, uh, will continue what she has taught us uh, because that's the only way to celebrate her, her life. Um, I am glad that I have met her and, uh, and I hope that I will live to um, the standards that she had set for her students. Um, thank you for giving me the chance to uh, talk at this uh, memorial. Thank you, Mama Ripit. Thank you so much, Professor Villa Gonzalo, for that um, message. Um, now we will be hearing also some message from Sir Mark, Professor Mark Nolan Confessor, Sir Mark. Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, condolences, Sir Chris, to you and your family. Um, just like Mom Christine, uh, this afternoon, I would like to share uh, more personal encounters with Mom Marie Vick. Uh, she has been a very big part of my, my life, not just as, as a physicist with Sir Chris, but also as a, as a Filipino. In one of the Hagna conferences many years ago, uh, Sir Chris and Mama Ravik has organized many of this. Uh, at that time, I was still a student, and it was a big thing for me because it was my first time to meet Professor Hida. Uh, Professor Hida, as many of you here know, is, a, is an exemplar Japanese mathematician uh, who invented white noise calculus. Uh, I, I remember it very well, Sir Chris, at that time, he, Professor Hida is the center of gravity of the meeting. Everyone tends to, uh, to go and talk to Professor Hida. Uh, interestingly, it was with Professor Hida that I got to know the funny side of Mom Marie Vick. Uh, you see in, in one of those uh, free times, Mom Marie Vick kiddingly told me that Professor Hida looks like the Jedi Grandmaster Yoda. I, I hope that you, <laughs> uh, I hope that you know uh, Yoda, okay, the Jedi Grandmaster Yoda. So if you if you know uh, if you don't know, you better watch Star Wars. Um, nonetheless, uh, apart from the the funny side of Mama Rivik, the lighter side of Mama Rivik, which allowed people to easily come to her and talk to her, she uh, with Sir Chris, our hands-on teacher. In the same meeting, I remember Mama Rivik and Sir Chris as well would passionately remind us to listen to the lectures of those high-class uh, mathematicians and scientists. Uh, Mama Rivik is truly a wonderful soul. She is firm in conviction, selfless in service, and a true believer of the Filipino nation. We have lost friends, a pillar, a model of what it means to be a Filipino. What did Mama Rivik taught me in becoming a good Filipino? Sir Chris, after hearing the sad news that Mama Rivik was intubated at St. Luke's, Ray and I were, were devastated. We tried to console each other by praying and also by starting to reminisce uh, the times that the four of us were able to talk together. Um, if you remember it, Sir Chris, it was in Tate's Grill uh, we were having a group lunch uh, when you were visiting MHYIT back then as visiting professor. And we were eating these fresh and delicious seafoods, which Mama Ribic likes a lot. However, things were not in perfect shape for me at that time. And it was very rude at my end. But maybe since I consider them, Sir Chris and Mama Ribic, as my parents also, I opened my problems to them, all while enjoying lunch. Uh, the mother that she is, Mama Rivik, just gave me a simple but full of wisdom advice. Mama Rivik told me in a very kind way and about my situation and told me to choose my battles well. 
I really remember that. Choose your battles well, Mark. It was a profound advice that I will never forget. An advice for me not to give up on our hope of a better university and a better Philippines, but to do it one step at a time. In a very calm manner, with a motherly smile, Mama Rivik taught me to be a good Filipino, to help the country. One has to be extra patient while being fully committed. And I see that in their lives as well. If you look at Sir Chris and Mama Mar Rivik, what they have accomplished, they have patiently helped build the Department of Physics of MSU IIT. And now with San Carlos, and I believe in many other institutions all throughout the country, and they did this with kindness and serenity. Another conviction that Sir Chris and Man Vic have constantly reminded me, and I guess for all of us Filipino physicists and scientists and mathematicians, is the need to constantly pursue excellence amidst difficulty. Pursue excellence amidst difficulty. But excellence requires much sacrifices. There is no doubt about that. And so we ask ourselves, can we persevere? Yes, we can persevere. Sir Chris and Mama Marivik have shown us an example to live by. Sir Chris and Mama Marivik plans to move out of the comfort of Manila to Hagna Buhol and establish a research center was seen as foolish by others. But it was that decision that triggered a rapid increase of science and technology developments in the Mindanao and Visayas region and help put the Visayas and Mindanao region in the science community map. I, for one, just like many of us here, their students, have been a beneficiary of such radical move. Even in such seemingly isolated place, Mama Rivik with Sir Chris made a haven for learned individuals, helped nurture the talents of young researchers that has no support, allowed Filipinos to interact with top-notch scientists, and for many of us, it was our first time while making discoveries that were published in top scientific journals. There in Hagna, they made a difference for Philippine science and the Philippine educational system. The values that Mam Maribik lived with by with Sir Chris is something I think we should never forget, but rather celebrate and emulate. It is very sad to lose someone who honestly cared for us, but it would be more of a tragedy if we forget to live or even just to live by their beautiful life. Mama Maribik, we miss you so much. We will do our best to follow your example. Sir Chris, sir, please remember you always have a family in us. We are here to support you, sir, all the way. Our prayers is for our Holy Mother to accompany Mama Marie to our Lord's loving presence. Thank you. Condolence, sir, please. Thank you so much, Sir Mark. And um, this afternoon, um, I know this is going to be hard, but we will be hearing a response from Sir Chris. Sir, good afternoon, Pa. Good afternoon. Can you hear me? Yes, sir. We can hear you. Okay. Uh, good afternoon and uh, good morning to those who are in some parts of the world. First of all, I'd like to thank uh, Chancellor Sukarno Tangol of the Mindanao State University Iligan Institute of Technology and the physics department for organizing this tribute for Marivik. Um, some people call her Victoria because she's Maria Victoria. So many know her as Victoria. And locally, a lot of people also call her Marivik, short for Maria Victoria. So thank you very much, uh, MSU, Iligan Institute of Technology, for this opportunity. Many, actually, Marivik and I li live a double life, so to speak. We wear two hats. One is education and the other is 
is science. A lot of the people in the education community do not know that uh, we still do science, we still do research, we still try to publish papers. And some colleagues in the scientific community do not know our activities in education, especially in basic education. So we have been living that double life or wearing those two hats for, for so long a time. But whatever success or the point that we have reached in this journey would not have happened if not for all of you. Whatever we have reached, you all made it possible. Without, without you, it would have been an, a simply an empty dream on our part. When it comes to the wearing the hat of science, it actually came first much earlier than, than in education. Before we left the University of the Philippines in 1999, much earlier, seven years earlier in 1992, Marivik and I already created and established the Research Center for Theoretical Physics, very small, with the purpose of creating some scientific activity outside of Metro Manila. In fact, the original impetus or original reason why we move out from Manila to Hagna Bohol was because of this research center for theoretical physics way back in 1992. It, only in 1999 did we get involved in education and uh, a lot of people already know our involvement in, in basic education. But it was actually science which uh, uh, brought us here first in Hagna. I remember one instance in the hospital. Uh, Marivik was in the hospital for 42 days and there, there was a, a week or so where she was intubated. And so she could not speak. And so whatever she would like to say, she would just write down. And in one of those instances wherein she would just write down things, uh, one instance was she wrote, I trust science and I trust God. And I think those two things, God, science, were the driving uh, force in her life. And uh, I think we also observed, Marivik and I have observed that after, uh, since starting in 1992 and trying to develop scientific activities outside of Metro Manila, we have observed that many of the young students have actually soared, have learned how to fly, have learned how to publish beautiful papers, and many of them have even surpassed us. So, in a sense, Marivik and I felt that maybe it's time to pass on the baton to the younger generation. But uh, we all know that we have gained a heavenly intercessor in Marivik and that uh, she will help us as we continue our work improving earthly conditions. So thank you again, uh, MSUIIT, for this tribute. Thank you, Jinky. Thank you, Mark. Thank you, Rose. Thank you, Jingle, and all the uh, faculty and members. Thank you, Chancellor Tangol. And thank you for treating us, Marivik and I, as part of the IIT family. Thank you again. Thank you so much, Sir Chris. Um, yeah, uh, we have some more people who would like to share, and I would like to give time for this uh, for them. Uh, we have Sir, our, our Professor Salvador, 
Professor Arnold Salvador of NIP. Sir, can you please? Um, hello. Um, yes, as, as, as we grieve for uh, the sudden death of Marvik, who is a colleague, a teacher, and mentor for most of us here. Um, I, on my part, I also like to point out that we should also celebrate the way she lived her life. It is an example, as I said to Chris, of somebody who had dreams that goes beyond the confines of the family and who set goals that are beyond one's easy grasp. So the task is daunting, but she carried it with grace. And this is something that uh, the mentor should also remember. I think when I went home in 1997 and they were starting this center, uh, Chris and I had almost similar problems of setting up the center. And Marvik would say that on certain occasions, Chris would say to those people who gave obstacles like, you make my blood boil. But Chris was so mad that he said, you make me boil my blood. And then Marivik was saying, cool, there is an easy way of doing this. So for those uh, left behind, we still have this daunting task, but Marivik showed that we can carry it with grace, not with, a, with, not with an upset face if things go not in our way. So, so that is my, my take for, for how Marivik lived his life. And for the younger ones, yes, uh, be generous. Just like Maridik has been generous. There's a lot more that we could do for the Philippines. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Salvador. Uh, um, and then last, last uh, we have Sir Professor Esguerra, Sir Henry. I'm oh, sorry, Professor Perry Esguerra. Okay. Uh, sige. Yeah, so yeah, so let me collect my thoughts first. Um, well, I think I first met Marivik uh, when I was a freshman in UP. She was about to leave for uh, graduate for grad school. Then the next time I met her was during the uh, organizational meeting of NAPS. Uh, if Dr. Bernido will remember, I attended some of the earlier organizational meetings, although I did not stay. I guess I was in a different place back then. Uh, um, yeah, I have, well, I was supposed to have been in her graduate EM class, but because I was in a very different place back then, uh, I only heard uh, second hand about how great her lectures were in EM. Uh, but I, I think the greater interaction happened during the, that summer where we had the Learning Physics as One Nation uh, project. And, uh, and I can say without any doubt that among at least in my third in, in my third in, in my 40 plus years seeing chalk and talk lectures, she has the best board work. I have ever seen the most organized, the most cozy, and I felt, uh, you know, I felt so uneasy uh, being recorded for a lecture in the L1 because I saw I saw the bar and it was so high and <laughs> and uh, yeah, but it helped a lot that she was very kind and uh, she and uh, even if after and even if I think I did not do well in my uh, chalk and talk lecture. She always had something positive to say. So, so that's the first thing I noticed, kindness. And the, set, and the second thing is, yeah, she was, I think she was a bridge. Uh, as you know, that, you know, the bridge, some sort of a bridge uh, for the physics community. 
and the sub communities in Luzon, Visayas, and Mindanao, having been involved with NIP, San Carlos, MSUIIT, SPP, SPVM, uh, a bridge from the Philippines to the rest of the world, and it's and it has been said um, uh, a few times in this lecture that uh, that for many of us. Our first encounters with uh, internationally recognized scientists from abroad were to the Hagnak, where, where, where in venues that in which, um, she, which she helped organize, be it the first international conference in physics and technology in the 90s, uh, organized in UP Diliman back when it was very difficult to organize international conferences and also HAGNA. Um, yeah, I think those are the things that stand out. Uh, also, we should remember that, again, uh, following this bridge, uh, uh, this bridge uh, keyword is uh, the role she played in helping bridge the uh, scientific research and uh, the education communities, basic education, higher education, graduate school. And um, I have many fond memories as she always ha had a kind word. Um, of course, I will always be grateful for the students she uh, she trained who eventually went to my lab one of one of them was Madeline Naiga uh, what else um, yeah I guess that's uh, it for now and uh, I I think I shall forever be grateful for the numerous encounters with uh, Maribit thank you condolence sir please Thank you so much, Sir Perry. And uh, yeah. Um, for now, uh, we will be ending this uh, tribute for uh, Ma'am Marivik. And I would like to call in uh, Ma'am Rose Reserva to give some closing remarks. Hello, Sir Chris. Con condolences. Now, before I'm going to end this. Uh, Ceremonies. I read some uh, messages uh, in the chat board from Nieves, Mam Nieves Confessor. It says, uh, deepest condolences to Dr. Chris and family, as well as those who have known her. Dr. Chris and Dr. Marivik are a case in a case in the case bank of the Asian Institute of Management, and they have come as a live case in the exercise of leadership in this world more than the technical competence that they had shown as physicists, but as Filipinos as well, the fervor in which they have pursued in bringing compassion and humanity to the community is truly uh, remarkable. So much kindness and grace in the midst of uh, the challenges of the 21st century. For our students for, from some 26 nationalities, their conversations about leadership work also showed how achievable it was to have a loving relationship in pursuit of helping solve the wicked problem. So thank you, Ma'am uh, Contisor. And also uh, earlier, there is uh, also a message coming from Ma'am Agida. Ma'am Agida is a CBA member who is right now in the U.S. She... Uh, uh, chatted down. Uh, she gave me the book Experiments in Physics, which I use in our physics class. I'll keep it in remembrance of, mom, uh, of my sweet Marivik. Our deepest condolences to Sir Chris and family from Norso family in Dumaguete City. And uh, the last one uh, coming from Ruth David. The one and only time I met Marvik with Chris is when they were awarded the Heidi Yurak Achievement Award by Miralco. Be being a Miralco executive, I was part of the audience that, 
that witnessed the awarding. I was in awe by the achievement in Hagna. I know Chris from uh, YSEC days in college, and I felt so proud of him and his wife. I recall Marvik to be so spoken yet with much conviction and knowledge. My deepest condolences to Chris and family. Uh, so in behalf of MSUIT, Sir Chris and the student family, I would like to thank everyone for joining this afternoon's ceremonies in honor to the late Dr. Maribik Bernido. Your presence uh, this afternoon, the words that you have all spoken and the love that you have shown um, surely bring comfort to Sir Chris, to his um, family, the Carpio Bernido's family, and to the whole physics community. Let us remember Ma Marivik and all her aspirations to make a better and productive physics community in the future. Sir Chris, since PBM would like to support in whatever endeavor that you may have, be it in the international, uh, Hagna International Workshop in the future and all activities, the physics family of MHIT as well as PBM are very much uh, willing to help you. So uh, thank you everyone this afternoon. Thank you for joining and thank you for all the kind words that you have spoken. Thank you. Thank you, Ma'am Rose. Um, I will be ending out this with uh, these words, what a legacy and what a life. And I invite each of you to keep Ma'am Marivik alive in your hearts and aspirations as well. We are all touched by her presence and we became better people because of that. And now it is our turn to go live life to the fullest, fullest and keep her legacy alive. Thank you so much again, everyone, for joining. And uh, you can still stay. Uh, we will be stopping the recording, but you can still stay here and then uh, meet with everyone else here and honor the life of Mama Ribi. Again, thank you so much for joining us. Recording stopped. Condolence, Sir Chris. Uh, switching Lim, how are you? Thank you for joining. <coughs> yeah, you're, you're muted. You're muted. But uh, thank you very much for for joining. Uh, for for the information of maybe the others, uh, Sui Cheng Lim we shared a, a room in Bielefeld. They were both postdocs of uh, Professor Ludwig Streit. And I would say that Sui Cheng Lim was the first one who met Maria Victoria. Mabs can, uh, Mabs, can we have yeah. uh, pictures, Mabs, please? Um, Ma'am, uh, I think people have been snapping since earlier already, but yeah, we can have... Uh, May I request, uh, please, to open your camera so that we can take pictures? I would also like to greet uh, Jose Luis da Silva. Thank you for joining. Uh, thank you very much, and my condolences from Madeira. And Oliver, Mustana, Oliver Tevez. Hi, Chris. Condolences. Thank you. And uh, thank you again, Professor Winkler, uh, Professor Ludwig Streit, uh, Professor Ludwig Streit. Marivik and I would consider as our godfather. 
advisor, colleague, and friend. And uh, thank you for your frequent visits to Hagna. Moving. I hope there will be more of those. Thank you very much, Chris. It was my pleasure to attend this uh, warm and emotional ceremony. Uh, this is not what we are typically having here in Germany. I never attended such an um, uh, yeah, event. So, condolences to Chris. I always wish, I wish you all the best, and I hope you see some of you again in the in the future. Okay. Bye bye. Professor Winkler. Bye. So, Mabs, can you take a picture, please? I cannot. Mam done already, po. Okay, so thank, you. thank you. So thank you everyone. Sir Chris, Amping, Professor Stride, thank you. Your microphone is off, Professor Stride. Hi, Professor Stride. I'm working hard on that. <laughs> okay. First right. Thank you again, everyone. I really appreciate it. Sir Chris, I'll send you the video later. Okay, thank you. Bye everyone. Bye everyone. Sir Chris. Sir Chris.